What's up everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode we're going to be taking a look at a piece. Wow, that is a big glitch. <laughs> we'll be taking a look at a piece by the AI generative artist Ben Scott Pye. This episode we're going to be talking a little bit about the art of royalty. We're going to talk about the immense influence of Yoshitaka Amano and we're also going to talk about the profound power of OpenAI's Dolly 2. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you know, you're met with the scene of a lone winged queen here set in center space. And these queens are actually very, very iconic. Of course, they contrast themselves quite brilliantly. That light on dark contrast gets that kind of darker backing. And so in the realm of color, we do see a very diverse color palette. We also see this set in a portraiture. And this portraiture really brings us face to face with such a, such a divine queen here. And that results in a very intimate visual experience. Of course, we are met face to face with our subject. And and so in the realm of color, like I said, very diverse color palette. We have everything from these kind of magentic purples to the pinks to reds, oranges, yellows, golds, you know, an incredibly diverse color palette. And so the result of that is a very energetic spatial composition, really invigorates the visual experience for the viewer and a very uh, iconic one at that. And so we see a bit of texture here and you see a little bit of rough, you see more of the smooth there, smooth on the face, the glossy, rigid, very diverse texture as well. And whenever I first saw this work, it actually kind of brought me to charcoal. It reminded me of charcoal. I said colored charcoal, and then I changed that to pastel. So with that in mind, I see this really as reminiscent of a, of a pastel medium of creation, even though it is an open AI's Dolly 2. So it was created by an AI, but for me personally, it looks like a, a pastel illustration, a very, very masterful one at that. And so our subject is that of an Eastern queen, a very lavish, lavish and luxurious scene here. Of course, we have this incredibly ornate garb and she, this actually reminds me kind of of, a, of what a samurai wears. And so with that in mind, this is actually inspired by a Japanese artist, uh, Yoshitaka Amano, who is a artist for Final Fantasy. And so the original artist notes that this reminded him of Final Fantasy. And personally, I wasn't sure why until I asked him a bit more. And so I discovered, actually got some of uh, Yoshitaka Mano's art here. And we're going to talk about that here in a second. But yeah, he said it reminded him of, of Final Fantasy. And there's really uh, no mystery why, because the original artist that he mentioned in the text prompt is actually a original creator of Final Fantasy and the art within that. So really, really nice influence for sure. And we see this very ornate scene here. Of course, she's wearing this very luxurious garb. We see, you know, multi colors. We see wings here. We see just so many layers to the work at hand. Of course, a very luxurious and lavish headdress there as well. All of those really introduce us to this high sense of status. It's trying to convey the spiritual significance and, of course, the elevated status of our subject here in the center. And so with that in mind, of course, we see those wings and then we also see, say, gemstones kind of throughout the work at hand. And so I think this is very important because the wings, for example, they grant you access to the transcendent. And then gemstones, for example, they catalyze and they intensify light. So all of that is incredibly important, especially trying to, to denote the divinity of our subject here. So a very divine display, whether it's the wings, whether it's the gemstones, or the overall ornate opulence of the work at hand. Very, very... Um, very memorable piece and it's very energetic and a very luxurious one for sure. And so, like I said, we have a original artist was mentioned in the original text prompt, actually, uh, Yoshitaka Amano. And so whenever I was looking at some of his art, it's often been described as very vivid colors and a little wispy. So we see that. I brought one of his works here. We see some dragons see a what appears to be a queen or a princess of some kind here in a dress but this feels very wispy for sure very vivid vibrant colors whether it's that red whether it's that pink and then kind of a wispy very stylized um i guess you would call it a pin stroke or a brush stroke there but yeah very very nice work we certainly see that sense of vivid or that sense of luxury in both of these at hand and also that kind of sense of that wispy so we do have kind of like a hazy texture also could be connected to say the pastel medium that i was mentioning this is not you know directly pastel like i said it is ai generative art but i think it was really interesting how the ai can interpret the style of the artist and then recreate that with absolute ease so it does an absolute amazing job at that and so with that in mind of course we have to talk about the profound power of open ai's dolly 2 dolly 2 and of course many ai generative art programs like it is unlocking an entire new world of creative expression for countless people and i think that's incredibly important especially 
especially because there are so many people that can't really get into art because they don't have the technique, they don't have the finesse, and they haven't really taken the time to build those skills. But what they can do is they can type in a little text prompt. And so with that in mind, you know, these these Dolly 2 renderings and just any AI generative renderings as a whole, we're seeing a whole new world of creative expression and a whole new level of accessibility to the average to the average person and, of course, to the average creator as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this work. We talked a little bit about the ornate opulence of this fictional Far Eastern queen. We talked about Yoshitaka Amano in the Final Fantasy series. We also talked a little bit about this kind of status and sense of significance and as well as the divine that's denoted, whether the wings or the gemstone. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed this work, go check out the original artist, AI generative artist, Ben Scott Pye. He's doing some really great stuff, and I will be probably diving in a bit deeper, much more broader analysis on some of his works coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.